Thank you for visiting this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will check the vibratory frequency rate of various pendulums, at least the frequency, uh, what color frequency it vibrates to, and then from there, look up that color to see what that pendulum would be ideal for and a particular working. So I'll just grab one. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the copper spiral pendulum, one of my favorites. I like to use this pendulum for finding lost objects and um, for charging food and for um, spiritual work. Testing positive green. Let's see if that's accurate. Go to the yes no chart. This pendulum vibrates at positive green. I'm getting a yes. Let's cross check. Stop. Now, ordinarily, you would stop it with your hand, but for those who've been dowsing for a long time, we're fine. You could just will it to stop or think it to stop when it's done. All right, so the cross check is, I'm going to affirm that it's a color that I know it isn't to see what response I get. This pendulum vibrates at a yellow, a yellow ray frequency. No. All right, so let's see. Positive green, that would correspond to Uh, let's see. So if you have a pendulum that vibrates positive green, that pendulum would be ideal uh, to use for cleanse, purification, detoxification, neutralization of toxic, of toxic radiations, and attunement to nature. Okay, let's try the small brass Karnak pendulum. Not to be confused with the witness Karnak pendulum. All right, let's see. What frequency does this vibrate to? This one has a little uh, strong vibration to it. And not only is it, I don't know if you can see it, but from my angle, it's like, jumping let's see getting a reading interesting this brass carnet pendulum is vibrating at an infrared frequency Let's look at the, this is the Inception Pendulum or Inception Inspired Pendulum. Let's see what frequency this vibrates to.
I was going to say positive green. It was almost the smack center of the uh, positive green and blue. But now I'm getting blue. It's possible for a pendulum to vibrate at more than one frequency, but predominant, but have one predominant uh, frequency. So that's what I'm getting here, that this pendulum would vibrate between a green and blue, but blue would be the predominant. So that's the reading I would go with. Neck pendulum. Now this one here is a witness pendulum. When I prepare these in kits, I include quartz crystal chips inside that can be charged for whatever work you're doing. You can see it's hollow. Or you can fill it with uh, charged water or the uh, hair or fingernail or something that represents the target you're working with. Um, but keep in mind when you do that, that would change the frequency. So it's a good idea to check the frequency again after you fill this with whatever you're going to fill it with. So let's check the frequency as is. You can't see, but underneath the table, I do have my palm up. That's just the way I've learned to use the pendulum. Okay, what frequency is this pendulum? Getting an indication of violet, a strong indication of violet. So, if you're doing that kind of work, this would be an ideal pendulum. to use. Uh, let's do a couple more and then I think you guys get a gist of it. But I'm going to use this uh, uh, test the two-in-one pendulum. Okay. It's a fillable pendulum. You open it. There's an open chamber, a large chamber too. You can fill it, like I said, with water, st a strand of hair, fingernail of your target, or or even you can write down your uh, your remedy or desire uh, or excuse me, attention, and stick it inside and then seal it back and it'll pick up that vibration. Again, it'll be different with content inside the chamber than without. Um, so we're gonna test it without. I, I like the two-piece too, because it's also good to use as a pointer if you're using it for finding a lost object or using a chart that has uh, many uh, uh, slices where it's easier with the point to see exactly which option you're choosing as opposed to a flat or blunt pendulum tip where it's a little confusing if it's a, a narrow slice to choose from. Okay. What is the frequency of this pendulum? Looks like I'm getting a red. Okay, red. The most important thing when you're using your pendulum is your intent and your awareness of that energy that's around you. But if you want to fine tune it and you want to go, you know, get into it, a Tesla mode, if you will, then, you know, uh, look at a premium pendulum or a pendulum that has a specific frequency. It doesn't necessarily have to be premium, but 
typically, you know, it would be. All right, so this is one of my favorite pendulums. This is the pendulum I learned on. Uh, well, aside from making my first one, but when I really started to learn more about pendulums, I, uh, I read a book written by a, a French priest back in the late 1800s by the name of Abbe Mermain. Uh, he wrote a book, uh, I'll put it somewhere in the remarks or something, um, but it was a, a textbook, if you will, of how to use a pendulum. This guy was amazing. Um, he was often called by the Vatican to search for archeological archaeological finds. Um, one of the most interesting stories I heard is when the family hired him, or not even hired him, because he would do it for free, but they asked him to help find their lost child. They lived somewhere in the French Alps or mountains somewhere, and they didn't know where their child was and couldn't find him and didn't have a clue. Um, he used his pendulum and found the, the little boy uh, off in the mountains somewhere where he was picked up by a large hawk, a large bird, can you believe it, and took him away. Um, I can't remember if he was, I think the boy was dead, yeah, but they found his body. Um, it was amazing, uh, the things he did. When I read it, I couldn't believe it, so I wanted to re-experience some of the same experience he talked about. Uh, he gives the frequency for gold and silver, uh, different metals where you can hold your pendulum, and it'll tell you if it's real gold or real silver. It's a really amazing read. But anyway, let's see what this tests for. What is the frequency of this pendulum? Solid positive green. Of course, that's right. And you can alter the frequency of obviously by filling the chamber. Uh, in the kits, I send these filled with, and you can see it's a large chamber filled with uh, quartz crystals for you to charge for the workings. I hope this is helpful and stay tuned for more tutorials. The Great Invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center, which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. The Great Invocation.